Hey guys, what's up? It's Samantha, and today I am starting off my January, maybe January, February, I don't know, we'll see where this ends, haul, and I am very excited. I have a few packages that came in the mail. We've been having some issues with our mail delivery, and I had a lot of packages missing, and yesterday one of my neighbors must have gone and gotten his mail, like maybe hadn't gotten his mail in a week, and five different things were in there, three of which were Happy Mail. So I am very excited to show you guys what kinds of goodies I've been getting. So the first thing is my Simply Gilded subscription box. So the first things there are journaling cards, and then it looks like this is a bakery themed uh, set. So we have the stickers there, which those are actually pretty cute. I might keep that. And then this pen is adorable. I really love that. And then we have the washi. So there's the box that it comes in and I will take all this downstairs to recycle it. I love that her packaging is paper instead of plastic in there. I mean, obviously there's still plastic on stuff, but if there can be just a little bit less plastic in packaging, I'm okay with it. Uh, all right, so we have lots of goodies here. So it looks like this is rose gold. This is like that textured kind of sparkly washi. Um, this has like a hollow overlay on it. It looks like there's little like macaron on there on that like little skinny one. We have kind of like a, looks like Paris sort of street. Um, so yeah, those are really cute. I'll definitely get some mileage out of those. I really like that um, like terrazzo kind of looking one. That's really cool. So this order from Scribble Prince Co is actually like none of these were new release kits. I was looking at my kit lineup for January and February and realized um, I got, I, I pulled some stuff in for January and made it make sense but I did not have winter kits. <laughs> and so I picked up a couple more winter kits just to round out my February spreads. So you will probably be seeing these in my February kit lineup. Um, then these were the freebies that were included in my order. So the first kit that I got is Snow Day and I thought this would just be like a really cozy winter at home kind of kit. And then I got the extras to go with it for my functional planner. I have the ombre heart checklists. I have the functional. I get two pages of the icons and then two of the like label sampler. And then I got Cozy Up, which I really love this double box here. Like all these scenes and stuff. I thought this vibe was very, like very just how I want to feel in the next couple of weeks. I need some time to be cozy and I haven't read in like a week. It's been very, I liked the, the bookish kind of girl in here. I haven't read hardly at all since the start of the new year. So I definitely have a lot of books to get caught up on and I need a week in here to, to just read a lot. And then I have what is perhaps one of the biggest orders I've placed from Scribble Prince Co. in a very long time. So there's a lot of freebies with this. There's um, some quote boxes, there's this freebie, and then Andrea, uh, Jessica, and uh, Kirsten, and then these angels, little freebies there. And then let's see. What is going on here? Okay, so I got two more of these rainbow um, foil bundles. I got one in the mystery and then I also got two more of the um, label samplers and I just think this is stunning. So I'm excited to get to use some rainbow foil. And then I went a little ham on the bougie boxes and the other foil. There was so much foil this week. So this is a hot pink. This is like a hot pink magenta. It doesn't have any shimmer to it, but it's just a really pretty pink. And so I picked up three of these and then some of these bougie boxes match that pink in here. And then this is a red sparkle of some kind, which is going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. Yeah. 
So this is like a red glitter that is just going to be absolutely stunning with all of the Valentine's Day kits that I have. So I'm excited for that one. And then I went a little nutty on matching bougie boxes and then I got them in all the other <laughs> colors too. So I got two spreads worth of um, this heart pattern for each color. So I'd like the red and the red and honestly these would work for like a mixed foil moment as well. You could definitely like do the pink in the background and then I think like silver foil would look really pretty with this. So if you wanted to do the pink bougie boxes and then also do like silver foil, that would be really pretty. So I have that. And then I got, I think I got two or three spreads worth of these. So this is the matte bronze this is Lavender Hollow. So yeah, I got like two, the equivalent of two spreads worth. Champagne Lights. And then this is Sparkly Hollow. There's so many like foils now. I think I did, I did three in Sparkly Hollow because I could definitely see myself using the hearts, like not necessarily for Valentine's Day, but in, um, that's like what the heart pattern looks like. Um, the, I can definitely see myself using this in other, contexts. We have hollow. Did I do three? Yeah, so I did six sheets of the hollow, so that'll give me three spreads. And same thing with silver. And this pattern is called Valentine. And then same with gold. And then there is this kind of tinier heart pattern that's just like a really dainty little heart, like sort of a heart confetti. And I did, again, two spreads. I think I did the same like amount in the different foil colors. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, so that's probably what I did. So there's the pink. And then again, there's matte bronze. So there's so many foils here, so many. I'm gonna have to organize all of this. This is why I'm like gonna film this month's one in clips because I cannot wait for like a month or two and just leave all the stuff sitting here to film it. So we have that in Lavender Hollow. We have four in Champagne Lights because I'm a crazy person. Oh, I have so many. <laughs> um, then I always like to have options. Like I hate feeling like if I really like something. So then I got six of the sparkly hollow. If I like something, then I wanna know that I can do multiple spreads in it because there's nothing worse than really liking a foil and then you only bought like one and then you're stuck. So um, do I need all this? No, will I end up using it? Yes, so I don't feel that bad about it. Um, we have the hollow the silver, and then the gold as well in the same distribution as the other set of bougie boxes. So we have gold hearts and hollow and silver. And it's a good thing I cleaned out all of my foil stuff the other day because I'm gonna need the room. And so then there's another extra and then so that, that tells you how much I spent on foil. Um, I got the $300 freebie, which was another bundle of this in Lavender Hollow, which is great. I actually just used one of these in my one of my like recent plan with me's. So I'll add this to my Lavender Hollow pile that's sitting here somewhere. So when I put everything away, I will be able to do that. All right, so the next thing I ordered isn't exactly planner related, but they are pins from an Etsy store called like Witchshire or something. Yeah, Witchshire pins. And basically she has a bunch of really funny Howl's Moving Castle themed stuff. She has a lot of like Miyazaki uh, inspired things on her store. And I think I saw like a booktube person posted about these, um, is it Hannah? I think it was Hannah, um, I'm blanking on Clockwork Reader, that um, person, I think I saw this in her stories. And I'm obsessed with Howl's Moving Castle and a couple of these are really funny because they're like memes, like is it me, am I the, the, the drama and am I better than everyone? And that's basically like Howl in a nutshell. 
Um, Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite movie of all time, and Joe and I frequently say that we are basically Howl and Sophie. That is our relationship dynamic, like, times 10. So, um, these are really cute. I need to get, like, a cork board situation in here. I used to have, I mean, I probably have hundreds of pins. I used to keep them on my desk at work, like the wall of my cubicle you could put pins in. So I just had like a wall of pins um, at the library. And I need to recreate that here in my office. So those will go on the pin wall eventually. But I did want to share those since it's kind of like tangentially related. Next up, I have an order from Fox and Cactus. This was when she opened the vault on Boxing Day. So I'm very excited. And I think she did a couple extra Halloween girls reading for me, which was super nice of her. Um, she always has cute cards. So let's see what I ordered in here. Mostly it's just reading girls. So there are some like little freebie sampler things in there, which I love. And then we got all of the things. I usually try to order like just because uh, Fox and Cactus is in Australia, I don't order as frequently just because shipping can be like pretty pricey compared to like the cost of the stickers. So I try to like order as much as I can at one time just because international shipping can be a lot. Um, so I will often buy like two sheets. I go through the reading girls quite frequently and when she opens her vault she does like all of her different varieties of girls like the different colorways that she usually only does periodically. You can order all of them at once for like a very short period of time after Christmas. So we have Halloween spooky reading girls. I have the cotton candy like fast food girls which I really like. Pastel PJs. Um, the red haired reading girls, the anxiety girls, and I really like the red hair ones. My hair is like kind of on the redder side and I like that they're more neutral so they fit with more spreads. Uh, red hair PJ girls and some of these were new so I think, I don't know, there's the pastel day off, pastel walking girls, pastel fitness girls. I get two of those. It's pastel chore girls. This is definitely new and I got two of those. I like these because they kind of work with all of those like light colors, any kind of light pink, blue, green. Cotton candy, help me, I'm old. <laughs> the cotton candy books, which I do. There's like a lot of this color pink and this color blue and stuff, so it's pretty easy to find spreads that these work in. The Laptop Girls, the Galaxy Fitness Girls, did I get one or two, just one, Nap Queen, uh, Sexy Girls, and Day Off. So that is everything I got from Fox and Cactus. I, as always, am completely obsessed. I love Emma's designs. They're always like really fun and a little like off the wall, a little wacky, and I feel like Emma and I have the same sense of humor. Um, I'm like obsessed with her Reverse Mermaids, which I've like talked about before on here and on Instagram and I'm just like completely enamored with all of the weird stuff she comes up with. And then I have kind of a large order from Simply Gilded. I ordered from a couple of different releases. This was like Valentine's Day and then some other stuff that I hadn't picked up yet like some Lunar New Year stuff which I'm actually kicking myself because I did my Lunar New Year spread last week and I didn't go to my mailbox <laughs> on time and I definitely could have used some of this washi in my Lunar New Year spread that I did in my planner but oh well I can use it next year. So there are the freebies and I actually think I like those cards I think and they match my like planners. So I think I'm going to slide those in the little windows in my print pression SPC edit planners that I've been using. All right, so this bag is like ripping. So I'm just going to dump all of this out. So we have these kind of outdoor at night 
nature scenes. Um, this one's really cute. It has the like bunny and I think the bear, sort of the silhouettes of their heads there. Um, this just has different wildlife creatures on there. Um, different like nighttime outdoor scenes and they're all kind of, if you can see, they have like a twinkle overlay on them. So that's really pretty. Then there's the Lunar New Year, the Year of the Rabbit. And then this is just like a more, like could be used any year design. And I think these are so beautiful. I love the art on this one. And that's the one that I wish I had used with my spread. I might kind of see if there's a place I could sneak some of this in because I think both the pink and the red would match with the kit I used. I got these scalloped hearts, which will be perfect for Valentine's Day spreads. And then I got these moons, like decorative moon washies. And I think these are really pretty. I really like this kind of navy with the hollow. I think that's probably my favorite. And then this is a whole lot of Valentine's Day, I think. I can't remember everything that I got in here. So we got like sparkly, chunky sequin glitter heart washi, which obsessed, I love. And then some smaller five millimeter heart washi, which I love a five millimeter washi. This matches that chunky magenta. And then this looks like the Aurora and something else, like another kind of like pink. This is like a more purple tint and that's a more pink tint, but they're very pretty. More Lunar New Year goodness that I wish I had had before I did my spread. And then I have this really pretty floral stardust that kind of has like this gold hollow star going on on it. This is really pretty and I can definitely see using this in the spring. I think there's gonna be a lot of spreads that this could go with. Some more galaxy shooting star stuff. So five millimeter and this is so pretty. I'm obsessed with anything galaxy, night sky. I just think they're so beautiful. We have more Valentine's Day goodness, which I love. I feel like I don't have very much red washi. That's something I always notice when I look at my collection outside of just hearts. There isn't very much like, true red in my collection. So I always get excited for just, just some little pops of red to have in there. And then some more pretty florals. So I'm very excited about all of those, these feel like they would fit into a lot of different spreads. We love to see it and we know I just buy it because I love to collect and organize it. I do use it, but I just, I love collecting it. <laughs> all right, so I just went and got my mail and I have one of the largest orders I've placed in a while from Scribble Prince Co. I made the realization that I hadn't picked up the new format scripts in any of the other foil colors when she initially released them. They were just in black except for the samplers. And I realized like a few weeks ago that apparently she had released them in all of the foil colors. And I had missed that somewhere along the way. I feel like the back half of 2022, like summer into fall and early winter, I wasn't really paying attention as much to what was going on with new releases and that sort of thing because I was a little busy. But uh, I have remedied the situation and I bought an absolutely absurd amount of scripts. So um, the top chunk here are all uh, month scripts. So I was actually running out of like certain months in certain colors. And I honestly like the new font so much better than the old one. So I am more than happy to have those. And then I have like all, almost all of the different things. And then I got them, oh, there's another black one in there. Um, in like sparkly hollow, hollow, silver and gold. So I think I got like three 
like it depends on the script. So I do laundry a lot and there's a lot of weeks that I use multiple laundry scripts. So I got like three of the laundries to each of the, in my feelings, got two each of the groceries and I did gold, silver, hollow, sparkly hollow because I don't buy rose gold anymore. And then I got two each of the cuddle time, uh, three, four, did I do five? Yeah, five of the clean ones in each color because I also clean a lot during the week and I like to mark that in my planner. And then I did three each of the work. And I did notice there was some confusion in one of my recent plan with me's. I use the work scripts for when I'm like doing YouTube work. So I like don't have necessarily film, edit, voiceover, thumbnail, upload, export type scripts, but I will just use work like generically. And also sometimes I'll be doing multiple of those things and I'll be working for, I don't know, a six hour chunk on filming and editing and working on thumbnails or something. So I just do that. And then I did three each of the like watch ones. So it's TV, YouTube, Netflix, all of that kind of stuff. And then sleep, I did two of each. And then read, I think I did five, yeah. I, I did five of each for reading because like, duh, obviously it's me. And then planning, looks like I did five again of planning and that is everything. So I definitely will have to spend an afternoon listening to an audiobook and putting all of these away because this is gonna take me a chunk of time to put all of that stuff into my script storage, but I'm very excited to have more of this. And then because I ordered so much stuff, I had a lot of freebies in this one. So there's this kind of green to yellow ombre freebie. Um, that was the $75 plus one. This is the one that comes in everything. And then this is the $300 plus freebie. So, you know, whoops. And then I also picked up three each of both of the foil bundles. This is a blue hollow that looks pretty similar to another blue hollow that she's released. It actually might be the same foil, but it's a different format. It's the like confetti or dots or whatever. And then this is the same format, but it's this really, really dark. It almost looks, it's looking black on camera. Let me see if I can get it to pick up better on the bottom washi overlay. So it's this like really beautiful foresty hunter green and it's really really pretty and I don't have a foil quite like this and I'm really excited to have a dark green like this because I feel like this is going to be absolutely stunning with like you could use this with St. Patrick's Day stuff. You could use this with like anything kind of foresty. You could use this at Christmas time. Lots of, lots of possibilities there. <clears throat> and then, and then I did pick up this kit for St. Patrick's Day and I did get the freebies, not freebies, oh my gosh. And then I picked up this kit for St. Patrick's Day and I did get the, <clears throat> oh my gosh. And then I did pick up this kit for St. Patrick's Day and I got the add-ons and I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep doing the add-ons. I, when I wasn't doing my full decorative planning, I was sort of using these to do a very functional white space planning style situation in a coil planner and I haven't really been doing that this last month. So I might get back into that, I might not, but I'm gonna kind of be a little more selective on which kits going forward that I buy the functional add-ons for. Two of the samplers, and then I got the extra full boxes, two of the gold, um, like extra color label samplers, and then two of the regular label samplers. So very excited, I didn't have a St. Patrick's Day kit, so this will work wonderfully. 
And then I got my Scroll Prince Co. mystery kit in, and this is a library bookish themed one, and I am very excited about this. I love that Andrea has been reading, because I feel like it means I get all of the bookish kits that I've always wanted. So it comes with this matte bronze uh, foil wiggle bundle. So it comes with this matte bronze foil and it has this really cool book like foil sampler that Andrea said she's bringing to the shop in all of the core foil colors. So I'm very excited about that because I absolutely love this. I love all of these. There's some really good <laughs> scripts on there that I will definitely be using and I love that bookish bottom washi. So this is just that like twinkle um, format and it has the new scripts on it which I love so much and very excited for that and honestly like this would be so pretty with that dark green that I just showed like I feel like you might even be able to like use maybe not this this might be like a little too blue um but but yeah I feel like this kit is so pretty there's lots of book girls we have the full boxes I love that library and I love the colors in this this is just like I love that double box there I love the colors. This is just, I'm obsessed. Very happy about this. So we have the extra like color label sampler thing and I'm really excited that she's doing the headers because for the mystery kits when she would have the extra color here without the headers because I've been color blocking, I've not been able to really use that. So I'm excited that they're glitter headers now. And then there are tall boxes, which I love. What is the book there? I can't tell what that says. It looks like it says like tales at bedtime or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I love those tall boxes. I think they're so pretty. This will be perfect for that like one more chapter quote box. I mean, you could probably even do it over the books too. Just a really pretty kit and I love the colors and I'm excited to have another bookish kit you know for that I can put in my pocket and save for a week that I'm just doing a lot of reading which I mean honestly is most weeks for me but I'm I'm just like obsessed with how like this whole kit is just beautiful so very excited for that and then this actually wasn't a purchase but my friend Lindsay um sent me the lavender hollow stuff from her Scribble Prince Co. Advent because she doesn't use Lavender Hollow very much and I am obsessed with Lavender Hollow so the like samplers of the patterned bougie boxes and then the star format um, foil bundle so I am very excited for that so thank you very much Lindsay. I um, will have her Instagram like on the screen somewhere if you want to go follow her. I love her Instagram. She's very organized and has like a different planning style than I do and I like watching all of her like she does more daily planning and I really like seeing what she's doing in her planner. And then I placed an order from Pink Diamond Planner Co. who is basically the only other shop besides Scribble Prints Co. that I buy kits from and these were both exclusive art to her shop and I needed another Valentine's Day kit. My February's are always really weird because Joe and I, our dating anniversary is, <clears throat> our dating anniversary is February 28th. So I always like to use a romantic kit then, but I like to also use like a red Valentine's Day kit on Valentine's Day. And I realized I did not have enough kits to do a kind of romance kit for our anniversary and have like a Valentine's Day kit for my main planner and my memory keeping planner that I filmed for you guys. So um, I was not like the other Valentine's Day art that I didn't buy from Scribble Prince Co. I wasn't wild about. Um, so I was like, that pink diamond planner co. I feel like I saw like something on Instagram and I was right and I can't believe I almost missed out on this because I'm obsessed like this couple in this box right here. I am completely obsessed with this and I love the colors and I'm so excited to get to use like some really beautiful red foil with this. I think it's going to be stunning. So 
this is like I just I love these colors I'm very very excited you have the glitter headers you have the bed functional labels labels food flat lay bottom washi and then I did get the couples so that I can kind of I can use that one because Joe has like brunette hair and then I got two of the icon sampler things just because I like having icon options and then this was one of her mysteries um, all of her mystery kits are exclusive art by Darcy Dubo I think it's Dubo I don't think hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly um and then this is one of her mystery kits this is like the and then I picked up one of her mystery kits from Overstock. I needed another winter themed kit and I thought this was beautiful. I love Darcy's artwork. Darcy does all of her exclusive um, mystery kit artwork and I am obsessed. So I did pick up the extra icons with this. Um, a lot of like the extra fashion girls and stuff were sold out by the time I picked this up. But honestly, there's more than enough stuff in just the core kit to get by this is going to be so beautiful with like lavender hollow or sparkly hollow or like silver and sparkly hollow there's like so many the possibilities are endless just like regular hollow would be beautiful so i am very much looking forward to using this i will be using both of these this and the valentine's day kit in february i actually have been oh it's like pre-cut now that is quite nice um I like have been putting off filming my February kit lineup because I've been waiting for these to come in the mail. Today is February 1st and they just arrived. So um, I, as soon as I'm done filming this clip, I will be filming my February lineup. So I'm going, I'm about to decide what foil color I'm going to use with this. So, um, so I just got in an order from Simply Gilded and there's actually two orders here because I missed out on one of the washies that I really wanted at the initial release and she did a very small restock the next week so I just picked up this one washi. This was her St. Patrick's Day release and there are some really adorable uh, Lucky Charms themed washi and this was the this is the Lucky Charms confetti washi and it has like the little Lucky Charms marshmallow shapes um, underneath all of the like foiled confetti and it is absolutely adorable and I'm very much looking forward to using this this year. I am like completely obsessed with this. I was heartbroken when I thought I didn't get it. Normally if I miss out on like a washi or two I don't care that much but this is one that I desperately wanted so I'm very happy I was able to get my hands on it. And then this was the washi card that was in there and then this was the everything else from that release and I think like the smaller release before that so there are a few different a duplicate of that one and another uh, St. Patrick's Day and then this was for a like winter postcard washi that I also picked up from an earlier release that I didn't have so there's this really pretty like matte hollow and matte copper or like rose gold kind of uh, washi and that is very very pretty lots of rainbow going on and I am obsessed with this rainbow bookshelf washi I think that's gorgeous and then a bit of a more like neutral muted rainbow I have this washi in some other like colorways where the background is blue but I think this kind of muted rainbow will go with so many things of course we have more Lucky Charms washi and I am just completely enamored <laughs> with this collection. Like I cannot begin to describe how much I adore these washi tapes. Some new Stardust washi and kind of some more neutral tones. This is that winter passport washi that the uh, postcard like journaling card was in there for. And then just some really nice like green for St. Patrick's Day. I really like this kind of uh, like banner or I don't know what you would call that, but that kind of style. She did some for Lunar New Year too. And I think those are really fun for any kind of like holiday celebration party. They're cute. So we got all those and that was everything like from regular Simply Gilded. 
And then I got my subscription box. So there's a beautiful journaling card that I will definitely be saving to put in one of my planners. Okay, so this is called Bloom, and I'm guessing it's a cherry blossom theme based on the cranes and the cherry blossoms. That would be my thought. And I do love that in her subscription, there's like a lot of paper, like this is all paper instead of filling it up with plastic and you can recycle that. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, It like reminds me a lot of the covers, like the UK covers. If you've seen the UK covers of like Seven Crimson Cranes, this like is giving me the same vibe as the cover of that, like the UK one. And I am here for it because I like thought those covers were absolutely stunning, but that is what this is reminding me of. Um, so it looks like there's some like rose gold and then that like Aurora pink hollow kind of color. So very, very pretty. And then, ooh, this pen is stunning. I really like that ombre. That is very, very pretty. And then of course there is a kit and I do usually end up like passing these on to someone else. I just usually, for like the way I plan, I don't end up using these, but I don't wanna miss out on the beautiful washi in these kits. And she doesn't have a washi only option anymore. So um, this is very, very pretty though. And I will definitely be passing this on so someone can get some use out of it. I'm pretty sure I said earlier in this video that I don't order from Fox and Cactus very often because of like international shipping and that is true, but she had a couple of Valentine's Day things that were going to be like limited edition. And so I did place a second order from like for some new stuff. So I'm very excited. Um, I like absolutely love using Fox and Cactus stickers in my planner and I feel like Emma and I have a very similar sense of humor. Um, so it looks like she threw in a few die cuts for me. So that's like, they're like so cute and they're all shiny. I really like the Emperor's New Groove one. That is amazing. And then she put a little card in there, um, some freebies. There's like a cute little journaling card. And so I got the like dead tired ghosts. I got the middle finger ghosts. I got the wooris, which I thought was funny. Um, and then the unlikely besties, which she actually took the uh, like eyelashes off. So they were more like gender neutral because this is literally the vibe of me and my husband. Like my husband is the most cheerful, sunshiny, like positive, happy person. And I am 100% like that. Um, <laughs> that is like basically our dynamic. So um, I like thought that was hilarious and I wanted to use that. So there's the sort emails in the colorful and the neutral. And I did end up getting the chores girls and these like with the black haired ones just to be like a little more neutral because I've noticed like I really like these like using these girls but I am not like a super pink person like I use pink in my planner like if it's in a spread but I wanted to be able to use them in all kinds of spreads so I thought black would be a little more neutral and then the uh pink ones and then I got the me time which I thought was like really, really cute. And then the sexy Shrek ones, which are hilarious. And then this me time that was in like a Valentine's Day only colorway, which I think this was like the limited edition one, but I thought they were so cute and I really wanted to get them. So I got them. Um, so that was my little sticker order from Fox and Cactus. Next up, I have an order from Pink Diamond Planner Co. And this was exclusive art that she did with Darcy for the new Little Mermaid movie. So I actually have two kits um, with art for the new Little Mermaid movie and I am very, very excited about that. So here are the full boxes and I love the colors. It's giving very uh, like old school Little Mermaid, like the shell bra purple, the green, the red. I love it. 
I love it so much. I'm very excited to see the new little mov mermaid movie. Hopefully Disney doesn't burn me once again with a live action film. I feel like this is the only one I've been excited for in a really long time because I have been burned so many times. So here are the extra boxes and uh, Ariel's in like the wedding dress there. I got the extra label samplers so that I can go nuts with color blocking. And then I think I got two of the icons as well. So very, very excited for that. I think these colors are very, very pretty. And then there was like a little foil freebie in there. So super excited for that. Okay, so then I have two orders from Scribble Prince Co. And this is the first so there's the freebie and then another freebie and then I got a bunch of stuff for this uh, like really cute bakery themed kit. So I got all of the functional things. I got my two icons and then the two label samplers for my functional like to-do list kind of planner. And then of course I got the ultimate kit which I'm not going to go through all of like the kits because you guys know what Scribble Prince Co. Ultimate kits look like at this point. Um, and then I did get two, like three of both of the foils. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so there's this really pretty sparkly green. It's like a lighter sparkly green. And then this is matte silver, I believe. And it's in a different format. Um, the other matte silver is in the celestial format, I think. Um, I think that's what it's called, whatever the one with the stars and the moons. So I have lots of new pretty foil. And then I have my second order. So these were the freebies. And then I got two kits and I got all of the extras for just one of them. And then the other one I did not. So I got the strawberry kit, which I think is super cute. It's like giving me the same like color vibes as strawberry shortcake, but obviously like not strawberry shortcake, but I just think it's like really cute. Like the character strawberry shortcake, it reminds me of a puzzle I had in the early nineties. So um, yeah, I think this is really cute. And then I got the ombre heart checklists. I got a functional, I got two icons and two label samplers. And then this is a birthday kit and I am obsessed with this art and these colors. I don't use birthday kits like super duper often um, just because my birthday is in October and I tend to use like a fall or a Halloween party kind of spread or kit instead. But I feel like I need to find someone's birthday to use this for. And then I did get ombre heart checklists and icons because I've been playing around with my sidebar and my personal planner, like you'll see in my next order um, from a different shop. Like I'm kind of playing around with my sidebar. Um, being in the house now, I just have more to do's again. So when we were in the apartment for like, however long that was, 14 months or something, it was just a smaller space half of our furniture was in storage. We didn't have like as much, I didn't have as many like weekly cleaning tasks because things that had been like traditionally my weekly cleaning tasks were in storage. So like, how was I gonna clean them? They're in storage. Um, but I, you know, wanna kind of get back into a groove, a routine with cleaning in the house. So I'm thinking I might make my sidebars like to like go back to the old school, like to ombre heart checklist like the big ones and not doing the like two small ones that's that's my thought and then I of course got three of both of the foils so this is a green hollow and it's very pretty and then this is a really soft kind of lavender and it kind of has the same uh like sheen or effect as like a matte silver like kind of thing where it's not like it's shiny but it kind of has that like matte look to it. So very happy with those. This is like the color that I was looking for when I was doing February. And I'm like, I wish I had this color and now I do. So I'm sure I will get use out of that. So then my last order to wrap up this 
planner haul is going to be from randy.plans. So I adore Randy and her custom scripts. And like once a year, I um, like message her ahead of time because it's always a really big order. Um, so that I'm not like overwhelming her when she's doing like sale orders or something like that. I place a really huge order to like restock my scripts or to, you know, add new scripts in. I might do like a small order with a couple of things here or there throughout the year. But once a year, this is like the third year I've done this, I place a really big order. Um, so this is a really, really big order. This is probably the biggest sticker order I've ever placed in one go. Um, and we have a lot of customs in here. So everything is in hollow silver and light gold. Those are the three colors that I do all my customs in. Um, and I did everything in lowercase and then uppercase and then a few things I did like mixed, um, like if they were stacked on top of each other, I did like mixed lowercase and uppercase, um, which she like has. If you go to her Etsy page, she explains like how to order and like how to say like what kind of script you want for different things. So um, I have like here, these were all of my like sidebar or habit tracker things because I also wanted to start using scripts for my habit trackers because I haven't like done that and I handwrite it in and I just want like my whole sidebar to be scripts. So I have wash floors and then make bed for my habit trackers. And these might like be in an order that doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, then I have like now that I'm back to filming, I got a lot of scripts for, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? For filming, for YouTube kind of stuff. So voiceover, um, games on iPad, and I got that, like, again, in lowercase, uppercase, audio, and game. So very excited about that coffee and plan because I have been doing that more and more where I make my coffee and then like come sit down here. Um, pulling stickers for plan with me's and then read and it's nice to have like tiny font things that way I can use the like little labels for reading especially you know when I'm trying to fit like 10 things in in a day. Um, coffee and crossword and very excited about that. Um, I really love like her lowercase lettering. I'm kind of like moving away from using like script. I really like the print lowercase and uppercase. Um, HelloFresh delivery and this is like a mixed, I must have done, oh yeah I did two of those because I have like one every week so that I have enough for like the whole year. Um, YouTube, so that, baking time, which, you know, I have like bake bread is a script that I have from her from like forever ago. Um, but you know, we bake other things besides bread in this house. Um, my talk to mom scripts, I just needed a restock of those. And then I have film, edit, um, doodle thumbnail because I have been like making my thumbnails on my iPad and like doodling and drawing them which has been fun and then I just like put, pull it into Photoshop into my template to do my like border around it after I've doodled everything. Um, coffee and balloons because that is like another thing I often do in the morning like I sit at my kitchen table and do the daily challenges um, on balloons with my coffee. Uh, blood work, I noticed I, like especially with having lupus and stuff, I have I get like quite a bit of blood work done and I wanted to have a script for blood work separate from like doctor's appointments. So I got organized scripts, which if you like watched the couple of plan with me's I did at the end of January, I've been doing a lot of organizing and decluttering and so I wanted to have scripts for that besides just like a generic clean and then these are more sidebar things. So 
wash rugs. Um, we have like ruggable rugs downstairs in our back hall and in our kitchen that need to be washed periodically. Um, bathrooms, vacuum. These are like just to replace because I'm running out of my like normal ones. Dust, um, clean Keurig because that is something that needs to be done weekly. Um, my kitchen table, since I have a table back, if you've been with me for many years, you know that for, oh, I don't know, years, I would put like a little three heart checklist on Wednesday with my like midweek chores, which were like Ajaxing my sink, watering my orchids and wiping down my kitchen table. And then I like moved it to the, the normal sidebar, but then we didn't have a kitchen table for the whole time we were in the apartment. And so now I have my table back again. So I finally got scripts for that watering my orchids, my, like I just sink, but that means like clean kitchen sink to me. Um, sheets for changing the sheets on our bed, which I do every single week. Um, get mail, which is for habit trackers. And then meditate, which is for habit trackers. And then I did build Lego scripts because I still have like several Lego kits, um, including like a really big Lego, it's a Lego city, um, like big set that Joe got me for my birthday that I still haven't built. Um, and then I did the tummy trubs. I did like the one on one line and then also stacked because I, use those a lot, like whether my stomach is upset from anxiety or a migraine or like period cramps, like I uh, feel like I write that more in my personal planner. I usually leave that out of, uh, unless it, you know, like I really wasn't feeling well or something, I usually leave that out of my like planner I'm filming in, but I use that, I will use that a lot in my personal planner. Um, then balloons with Joe to differentiate from like playing balloons by myself. And then cooking time is the final custom. So yeah, this was like a lot. It took me like a couple hours to like get everything all like ordered and entered in. Um, so I really like Randy's just so easy to work with. And then these are all things that aren't custom. Um, that are just like her standard stickers. So there's some freebies. And then I got these like really cute, smaller um, day of the week scripts that I thought would be like nice to use. Sometimes I want like smaller scripts at the top of my pages. And then I also got them in uppercase. And then these are smaller and these I get in like sparkly hollow because I feel like I use sparkly hollow enough to have like to justify buying a few sheets of like day scripts, like day of the week scripts and month scripts, but I don't use enough sparkly hollow to justify buying all of my custom scripts in sparkly hollow, if that makes sense. Um, so sparkly hollow, hollow, I like wanted to try this out. These like smaller, like, abbreviated months to see like when things change over like if there's a split week like maybe putting like one of these small things like over the first day of the month I don't know but um then I also got some in black for like I use black sometimes with like fun foils that sort of thing so that was everything from randy.plans. Like seriously, <laughs> the most hefty order I think I've ever placed ever. So it'll be an experience to put those away, but it'll happen eventually. All right guys, so that was everything. Thank you so much for watching this haul. As always, all of the shops that I purchased from will be linked in the description down below if you're interested in checking out any of these shops. So again, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.